All right, welcome back to another episode of A New Place NBA 2K18. And uh, Scotty D has got some uh, got some texts coming in. Let's go check them out. See what we got going here. First of all, this guy, he's probably ticked off. Wish you'd join Adidas, but congrats on your deal with Nike. Thanks, Mr. Unicorn. And what's Shammy got? What's Shammy got? Shammy. Hey, just talked to D loading. He's going down to Alley's. Alley Oops Tattoo. Alley Oops Tattoo. Yep, you should go down there. Uh. I don't know. You ever think how weird it is for a tattoo place to have oops as part of its name? <laughs> oh, yeah, it is kind of weird, isn't it? Maybe I'll just watch DLO get inked up. Fine. I'll check it out. All right, let's go down there. Uh, uh, one of my subscribers, King Sean. Shout out to King Sean. Thanks for uh, leaving a comment. Saying I should buy some gear for your player. Uh, you guys need to give me some idea what I should be buying. Because I got no idea. So, other than maybe some more shoes and some clothes. But let's go ahead and uh, check out the uh, tattoo parlor. D Swizzle, what's up, man? I'm sorry I'm late, bro. I had to, had to take care of something that's prayer, man. Come on, so, man. But I know what I want, though. Oh, no, no, no. You're a rookie, man. What? You're always late. You can't <laughs> be like that. Bro, I had to take care of some stuff. You know how it is, man. Right, man. But I know what I want, though. I want the crown, man. I'm gonna get that crown. The Kobe crown? Yeah, why not? Come on, Kobe did that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta do your own thing. Okay. It's all right, though. It's all right, you know what I'm saying? Get your own thing going, and then, you know what I'm saying? You can start from there. So, how was it like working with Kobe, bro? Kobe? He was, he was cool, man. He's, yeah? He's a, he's a man. He's a, he's a problem. He's a problem? Yeah, sure. Man, you lucked out, bro. Remember when I was telling him about the working hard thing? Yeah. He was the, he was the one that I, I really saw do that. That's crazy, man. Like, what, what, what kind of routines did he do, bro? Same, you know what I'm saying? Same pivot, jump shots. The same shots? Every day. It was how many times? Thing. Thousands of reps, every day. Wow, he had you in there doing that too? Yeah, but I, I, I didn't get the opportunity to do it all the time because I was late sometimes, but, but not all the time like you, man. Oh, so you saying I got to be? You got to be more professional, you know what I'm saying? But all right. You're a rookie, you be there. All right, bet, bet. I'm thinking more the butterfly look. You know what I'm saying? The butterfly for you. look. No, for you, like on the face. You can butterfly <laughs> on the face. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, bro. Yeah, no, that's not, that's not for me. You could do I don't even know if I want to get a tattoo, you know man. Crown. I'm what saying, should I, I get here, man? I don't know. Some headphones. You know what I'm saying? For DJ. Heck, I was in the Navy, and I, I would nah, never get a tattoo in real life, man. I've seen right. some guys come right, back we'll with see. some wicked tattoos, but nah. Let's see what they got, though. Let's see what he got. I got, let me see. Oh, look at Navy. Navy, Navy. See there? I can get Navy tattoo. Uh, matter of fact, I was a chief petty officer, and uh, one of the emblems of a chief petty officer is the, uh, the anchor. The, uh, what we call the fouled anchor with the head left, like the anchor chain wrapped around it. That's called a fouled anchor. That was the uh, emblem of the. Uh, but I don't know if I want. Well, I don't have too many choices here, man. I can't even unlock that. I can. All I can get is a 2K logo. Oh, that's just black and gray. You got to give me something else here, man. They got to give me something else here, man. You kidding me? I can't. I can't get nothing. I don't want to get a 2K tattoo. What am I? Some sap? I'm not some corporate lackey. Yeah, we're gonna exit out. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate you showing me your stuff. I think I'm all okay, set. he came to his senses, man. He came to his senses. Maybe, maybe in the future. I don't know. Maybe. I, I, I'm running short of time here, so let's go ahead and, and we're gonna have to pop right into a game. Let's go. All right, we're taking on the Spurs in their home court at AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas. I used to live there when I was a kid. Yeah, I was in the Air Force Station in San Antonio. 
never saw a basketball game there. I don't think they were even around back when I was a kid, so. All right, let's do this. I am the starting center. Let's go. And as we get into the meat of the NBA season, wear and tear starting to factor in for rotation players. Just how hard can playing 36 minutes a night, every night. Oh, come on, man. Every game being about yeah, you know, it, it's a All lot right, of wear let's go. And a lot of times you, you get a chance play some to good D. It play some good D. In the playoffs. So if you can keep some of these star players and all players around 36, 35, 34, and then oh, let them play. Not good D. Starting off bad. Playoffs. That was a bad That's play there. I let him uh, post up on me, man, and get by me. That's why I'm sitting here right next to you right now, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and now the opening lineup for Boston. Kyrie Irving is out there with Smart. Oh, uh, okay. Right off the bat, I'm not good. A little rusty. Been a couple of days since I played. I guess that's my excuse. Oh, man. Sinking right through off the back iron. A monster from mid range. I'm not sure how do you defend Kawhi there. Now let's send it down to David Aldridge, who was able to talk to Greg. Oh, what the? Oh, oh, what the? the defensive game plan. He's a big man out there shooting that for him. Looks at the basket. They can do that. He thinks they'll have the upper hand. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Parker dishes to Lennon over Hayward, and it's Leonard missing. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the <coughs> shot. When I look at Gordon Hayward, the first word All right, that comes to my mind is versatility. He's able to defend four positions. And offensively, in my opinion, oh, he come can on, do it man. all. He misses the free throw. And Hayward, so well-rounded, Steve. He gives you rebounding, block shots. He gets steals. His athleticism is underappreciated. Coming to this league, he was a small, skinny kid. Now he's a physical player, more than willing to mix it up. Hayward against Leonard. There's the dish to Gasol. Oh, and my it's good. God. And it's Leonard with Damn the it. assist. Gasol's got his second basket of the game. Uh, yeah. Twice he's burned. Three for four now. I like the pace for them on offense. Gasol with oh, the steal. what the hell, man? i got to stop Paul. Is that Paul that's all right? Parker's got his first all right. bucket of the night. Let's go. Good We're down call. eight to one. They are shooting 80% to start this game. Irving kicks to Hayward. And there's the pass to the monster. The Celtics working the ball around now. How did I get the ball? Hayward outside. Horford with a screen on green. Shot clock at five. Hayward passes to the monster. Charity strike shot. Oh. On that one as it misses. The Spurs have gone four or five from the field so far. Leonard with the ball. Now defended by Hayward. Leonard dishes to Parker. Kicks to green. He feeds it to Leonard. And the layup's good off the glass. Leonard's got his second basket Christ, of the night. Man. What Kawhi does <laughs> in the Let's main go. area, the tenacity he displays, it's phenomenal. Come on, Kyrie. Pass to Horford. Down low. Here's the monster. Oh, my God. Bricks. Nothing but bricks they going up. Fresh off a win against the Heat. Yeah, and in that game, we saw a lot of sloppy play from the opposing offense. They coughed the ball up. A lot of unforced turnovers. They sure got some breaks, but hey, they did a really awesome job turning those mistakes into gold at the other end. Irving passes to the monster. Oh. By Aldridge. <sighs> Great day. Here's Leonard. Another miss by Give me that board. Celtics trail by nine. And getting it, Gasol. Here's Irving. Good and smart. Gets All the right, assist. Kyrie. Man, got his first, first field goal. Absolutely fearless, Kyrie. You have to do more than just get a hand in his face. And here is Gasol. 11 points for him in that last game against Miami. I let him get some space on me. It wasn't all about the offense. He battled his tail off down low. Back to Irving. To the middle. In the corner, Horford with it. 
offline with his three. All right, I gotta stop feeding him, man. He's gonna be shoot, shooting them things. Gasol, a screen on Hayward. Goes up at the strike, and he comes up with the deuce. Leonard's got six points. And you can't help but pick mm. their defense apart. 11 points They're down this early. In disarray. And now, the first time out called here. All right. Boston, they come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. You know, they worked hard, they drew mm. fouls, but they just couldn't convert at the line. And it's one of those things that can deflate your team. After all that effort, you want points. Irving kicks to Smart. Horford has a wide open oh. look. What? And it's Horford again missing. Spurs leading. Why is he Lemon. shooting three point shots, and man? Spurs last season. How about setting the all time record? Hitting, hitting close to getting it. Winning seasons with 20. This is a group that's won 50 or more games in every one of those seasons. Except him down that time. The strike shortened one in 99. And it's Green missing. Yeah, blown Give me that opportunity board. after the two man game creates a terrific look. That's how it's drawn up. That is everything. Oh, how did I not get that? There does come a time when you haven't made anything position all quarter long. Pass the rock. Parker kicks to Green. Screened by Parker. Aldridge sets up the pick now for Green. Six on the shot clock. He got right to the cup using that screen. And guys, they've come out and established a rhythm. And also their play calling has been on point. Well, the two go hand in hand, matching your strategy to your personnel. <laughs> oh my team. god. You know it's gonna be a bad game when you're missing a dunk. <laughs> guys into tough shots. Yeah, to be successful, you've got to protect the paint. He rises to that challenge. The monster passes to Hayward. Shoots over Leonard. Boston again <sighs> missing. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Parker against Irving. And stolen by Hayward. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. And he finishes the break with the lay-in. The long legs good play, of good play. Really coming into play off these fast break chances. Hard All right, pace come on. Guy that big and athletic. And that replay brought to us by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. One of the more exciting plays in basketball. Aldrich kicks to Gasol. 11 feet away. Rebound by the Celtics. Their last encounter was in Boston. All right. And the previous meeting was a win for them and a huge look at that. Day for the bench. Beautiful. The reserves really stepped it up with their scoring. Getting good production from the reserves on a daily basis is a key ingredient to any team's success. Spurs take a timeout. Right there. Up by nine. Time called here. The Spurs decide. Let's go. Over. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. All right, we're back in. No points, three rebounds, one assist. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Aldridge is at the four with Gasol at the five. Murray and Green team up to make the backcourt. And it's Gay in at the small forward position. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Green kicks to Aldridge. His first shot coming late. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And the foul on the monster. Oh. That's his first foul. Count the shot though, right? On that play. Tries to climb over the top of him and gets whistled for it. A real easy call. I know you want to attack the glass, generate second chance opportunities, but you also have to pick your spots. Spurs making a switch here. Parker's checked in. Gay with no one around. San Antonio. No, that's Again, mine. Missing. Brown outside. Pass to the monster. Hayward on the wing. Horford with the screen on green. Just five on the clock. It's up a three. Up. Hands it from downtown. Good shot. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. San Antonio leading by six. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. 
Well, the monster in the last game against the Mavericks delivered in a major way. He scored 18 points, and in addition to his scoring, he also finished with a season high in rebounds. Nice turnaround jumper, man. It was a breakout game for the rookie. Yeah, and I haven't head. done anything yet. Numbers like that. Who knows how far he can go from here, Kevin? Great, David. Appreciate it. Well, he set the bar pretty high for himself with that performance. He did. I mean, but we know he's going to try to ah. raise that bar again tonight. No matter how good he is, he's always thinking he can do better. It's going to be tough. I'm sure the entire defensive game plan is centered around how to stop him. They're going to be all over him. Shots good by Green. Catch and shoot. This is where Danny Green. I just got to start dishing off to other people. Then. And Steve, Danny Green, an outstanding perimeter defender. He can lock down either wing spot so well. Even has the quickness to stay with point guards. Always in your jersey. Shammy. And an outstanding shot blocker for a wing. And oh, that wasn't Shammy. Absolutely Shammy. stroking it from beyond the arc. Irving against Parker. The feed to Aldrich. A shot that time, not on target. Now Boston takes it the other way. Outside Irving. <laughs> Getting Irving's way. And a foul called on the shot. <laughs> Got him on the way up that time. So I don't know what he's doing, right man. Here. And Kyrie Irving keeps that ball on a string, but the coach has asked him to be quicker on the attack, Steve, not over dribbling to set up his man. Yeah, this league is moving away from one-on-one -on -one scoring and isolation plays. For the great scores, it's often a temptation to take your time to pick your defender apart. The problem is it allows weak side defenders a chance to get set. Here's Gage, and the layup's good off the glass. Gage got seven points for the quarter. His temperature is rising. I mean, it is rising. I need to get in that offense Smart here, man. To On the wing, Irving. Smart with the ball. He's been patient so far. Not oh, on the Jesus. What am I doing? His way out of this slump, but thus far, not working. You know what? At some point, you have to decide. Do you keep pressing the issue, or do you focus on setting up others? Here's the monster defended by Gasol. No I, can, the monster. I can't hit a freaking layup. Ugly, I can't hit a layup to save my life, man. Because he hasn't drained a shot all night. Aldridge up again, and it's Aldridge ah. on the follow. -up. And now it's a 10-point Spurs lead. The wingspan, the time. Oh man, Aldridge. what a bad half. Devastating on the offensive glass. Now a timeout called by Boston. We all know just how physically strong NBA players are, Steve, but. They have to be mentally tough as well. Uh, how about in that category? Who has the best mental toughness guys you've observed? Uh, I look at a guy uh, that loves the big moment right now. On uh, top of the list has to be uh, a Kyrie Irving, um, LeBron James, the great ones, Russell Westbrook. I mean, his focus is James Harden. Those are the guys that stick out for me that just come in and night in and night out. Al Horford, mental toughness. Um, you love those guys because their mental toughness matches, matches their skill set. They usually have great results. And it goes down two points. And after a scoreless first quarter, he's finally finding the range here in the second. Here's the monster defended by Gasol. Here's Hayward. A rebound by the Spurs. Gasol's got eight rebounds in this game. Parker against Irving. Gasol setting the pick for Parker. Feeds to Gasol. Got it for his first Oh, come on, man. Just five shots. Nothing else like I've done there. Anyway, Gasol absorbs the hit, but strong enough to finish through it. Irving kicks to Horf to the inside. Here's the monster. A rebound by Gasol. Gasol's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Gay up top. Mended by Hayward. Green, the screen. Jumper off the screen. Al Horford with the rebound. Horford's got rebound number five here tonight. Dishes it to Irving. The monster passes to Hayward. Over game. 
Boston again missing. San Antonio leading by 11. Green kicks to Gay. 131 left to play here in the half. Gasol dishes to Green. Horford against Aldridge. Ooh. Aldridge double teamed. Rob. Oh, I got a steal on that. <laughs> okay. In the corner, it's Hayward. Shoots the three. Good and smart gets the assist. All right. Hayward's got to back down. I don't know how I got a B plus going, man. Summit. I'm sticking up the place. Here, the Spurs decide to talk it over. All right, we're down by eight. You look back to that a minute left in half. Boston. You know, the Celtics have not been shy about aggressively trading to reshape this roster. You know, they've made a rapid rebuild that's really the envy of a lot of teams around our league. So, All right. So we wrap up. That's half. Spurs lead by 10. Time to start. All right. I got shut down in the first half. I only got four rebounds, no points. The only problem is that there's time left on the clock. Oh, coach is not thrilled. The second half just about to get going here. It's been quite a game for Rudy Gay. Yeah, so far they haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here. Down by 10. Game. Defensively coming in, you know he's going to be tough to stop. But I'm still waiting to see a plan to even contain him. Second half underway. Here's who Brad Stevens got on the floor. They've got Horford. Smart right. out there with Irving. And there's the monster. And it's Hayward in at the small four. San Antonio leading by eight. Aldridge with a screen on Irving. Parker kicks to Gasol. Leonard against Hayward. Leonard the pass to Aldridge. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Okay. Marcus Aldridge really possesses tremendous shooting touch when you consider this guy has basically a seven footer and he's increasing that range last season up over 40% from three. And Aldridge doesn't shoot a ton of threes, yet he still earns his keep in that mid range. Yeah, on that left block, back to the basket, and with his size, that turnaround Jay is just about unstoppable. Or for the pass to the monster. And he makes All right, it finally. It hard with one hand. Yeah, and give it up for the feed from Horford. He, he's a playmaker. Yeah, beautiful. You love having a big man show off more. that kind of vision. A three from Leonard. Rebound, Boston. The monster's got four rebounds now tonight. That's five. Uh, now, yeah. smart. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. All right. And count it. He got hacked. Six points and the bucket from the monster. Important points there. Okay. On a nice play, getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And that one. Ah. Uh. Steve, you are known for your three-point shooting, but as more and more teams look to space the floor and shoot threes, we've heard some legends, like Isaiah Thomas, for instance, complain that everyone's playing the same. What do you think about that? You know, me and Isaiah, we've definitely talked about it, and I look at it, yes, we have some guys that's multi-talented, but everybody can't shoot threes. All right. A little hook. Where's the foul? Ref, where's the foul? Let's go. If you're a mid-range guy, you can still be an all-star shooting the mid-range. Play to your strength. Work on that shooting threes. But I just hate when five, six, seven guys, everybody's running to that line. And that's Give me that board. Seeing. You got to defend. You got to take over this game, you man. Shots. You got to do other things because that's still the way you can win the game by doing all things, not just shoot threes. All right. Having the best teams in history always had guys that can do different things, a ball handler, a rebound. Eight points in this, this quarter. A long shooter. Yeah, it's always a combination of all those things instead of everybody doing the same. So right Dang us off. Stay on them. Stay on them. Stay on them. In the last two or three years, rebounding the basketball and defending. Ooh, nice. And Can't you know, complain about that, man. It was beautiful. How plays we have in the game for which there's no stack. A monster dunk coming off just a terrific pick play. Greg, you're right. It really did work to perfection. Gave him all the room he needed for the flush. That's what oh, no. Come on. Excellent I didn't know like my... It's rolling, man. I was rolling. Right toward the back. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Flexing at the rack. Leonard doing what he can to fire up his teammates. Irving kicks to Hayward. The pass to the monster. There's a good screen. 
Let's the three fly, and the shot is good. Ooh, there we the go. I don't know what I was doing under the basket the there. From Horford. Wasn't Tough paying attention. There, and the defense was not prepared for it. Outside green. Trying to keep him. He kicks it to Aldridge. Outside Gasol. The shot missed. All right, good D, good D. Monster. Celtics trail by six. In the corner, Irving with it. Fires the three. Good and all right. Gets the Here we go. Three down by three. Assist with that last one here tonight. San Antonio's gone five of ten from downtown tonight. Fifty percent exactly. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer David Alder. There we go. Leonard has become a go-to scorer. Three and yes. Beautiful. Tied the game up. It's the same every game. Whoever I'm playing against, I go in and try to stop their best scorer, and then try to get myself going on the offensive end. Kevin. And David, that's what you get with Kawhi. I don't Mr. want you to get the ball, Gasol. One of the best two-way players in the game. That one Give me that. Left. He's hit a rough patch this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it, though. Hayward passes to the monster. For the lead. And oh. Way shoot. Too much defensive pressure for him to get up a clean look. That was a pretty nice-looking move, man. Stolen by Irving. Is it to the monster? And Gasol sends it back. Ooh, boy. Facial. Al Gasol, top three in block shots. Parker dishes to Gasol. Run it on the wing. Looking to get back on track here. It's rebounded by the monster. A high percentage look from the mid range. Might have been surprised that he was so wide open. Here's Horford. Good on the three-point shot. Okay, that's what now. Horford's got six here in this quarter. Now he's shooting the threes and hitting them. Boy, he's shooting up bricks. Aldridge with a screen on Hayward. Here's Leonard. Misses and the dry spell continues. Still no rhythm. This may be a time when you want to make the extra pass. Ooh, nice. Give someone else a chance. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. And there has been a will he or won't he feeling with Boy, that was a rough first half, but a little better in the second. All right, going to sit down. Come back. There's a minute 36 left in the third. Me and Shammy. Shammy. Now, here's Well. He's covered by Ginobili. Oh, that was a brick, Shammy. And Boston was the heavy favorite to sign Gordon Hayward, and ultimately the opportunity was just too hard to pass up. And, and he's reunited with his college coach, Brad Stevens. This team has a great path to make a deep playoff run, and this just adds another star to a very balanced roster. Here's Brown. They get it again. The monster passes to Rogier. Here's Wells. And that pass All right. pushes the lead to double digits. Wells has got six. And since Man, we're up by ten. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. This guy's sneaking in on me. Yeah, forcing defenders to come out and guard them, which could open up driving lanes if they want to take advantage of that. Mills. The rebound by the monster. The monster's Ooh. got double-digit rebounds now in the game. From beyond the arc. And play stops. As it uh oh. Like Damn it. Over the back here. Yeah, but at least he's getting after it on the backboard but but got a little carried away on that one when you're assertive when you're being physical good things tend to happen except for the foul calls it's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock they set the screen and mills kicks to leonard ice ball movement by san antonio six on the shot clock here's game Oh, come on. How did I even... I didn't foul him, man. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's that's how they saw it. That free throw, good from Laverne. Eight seconds left in the third quarter. 
In the corner, it's Morris. Jacks up a three. You can't get that one to fall. And as we end the third quarter, right. double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Numbers in the books, folks. Glad to have you with us. Welcome back as we get going. Mills and Manu at the guards. Laverne out there with Kawhi Leonard. And it's Gay in at the three spot. That's the San Antonio Fox. And Steve, Kawhi Leonard, one of just three players to increase his scoring average in each of the past five seasons. I mean, you look at what he's done. He's become an elite scorer. The third longest streak of double-digit scoring games in franchise history, surpassing Timmy D. That's the consistency that you expect from a franchise player. Smart kicks to Morris. Down low. No good from the monster. Oh. And thus I got no touch on any uh, anything from him other than a dunk. If I don't dunk, so the whistle blows it ain't good. Two free throws for the contact right there. Before his injury, Rudy Gay had made some strides on the defensive end. In general, Greg, he doesn't get enough credit sometimes for his impact on that side of the ball. Yeah, Gay has always been a, a great ball hawk. I mean, he's got long arms to pick off lazy passes. He gets a good amount of blocks for a wing player as well. Very much so underrated. All right. Talk about his defense. And they've gotten very aggressive on the offensive glass here in the second half, getting a lot of second chance points. Right side, Aldridge. Whistle blows. If that's going to be a travel. <laughs> and the Spurs with some changes. Paul Gasol is checked in for Leonard. Green comes in for Mono Ginobili. All right, and let's Tony go. Parker subbed in for Patty Mills. Boston leading by nine. Brown outside. And he lays it straight in. All right, and they're getting passing. assist. Setting up a lot of these buckets. All right, right got another double-double, man. Been the key. Wasn't easy. Now here's Parker, guarded by Smart, and the wide-open shot from Green. No good from outside. The Celtics have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Brown the pass to the monster. We're just All right, over thank a minute God. And a half now into the fourth. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Paul Gasol. Is, that, is it Paul Gasol? Parker outside. I don't remember. Pass to Gasol. Gay against Brown. Gay dishes to Aldrich. Pocket six. Baseline try. The rebound by yeah. the monster. The monsters got rebound number 13 with that last one. Yeah, that was 14. And stolen by Gay. He dishes it to Parker. Back to Gay. Kicks it to Aldridge. He feeds it to Gasol. And a great assist oh. by Aldridge as that one goes in. That's 10 points for Paul Gasol. High percentage look for Paul. Right, right. Won't miss many from that distance. The monster passes to Morris. Over Aldridge. Morris. Oh, no good. over one. Oh, Spurs man. Had, by 11. had position on him and I kept going. Stolen by Smart. And here they come. The foul, a chance Beautiful. For point at the free throw line. They get Paul Gasol. And a late reaction by the defense makes that one a no contest. You know, he got out before 13, people could turn their heads, 14, and he's already gone with no hesitation. Seven minutes left in the game. And at 6'4", 220, Marcus Smart with terrific strength for a combo guard, Greg. I mean, he can just flat out bully most guards. All right, seven minutes, let's go. Against the bigs. Beyond, though, that physical stature, it's his mentality that makes him special. He's a fire breather. Just the type of player the Celtics look for. Irving's checked in for Wells. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. During that break, Greg Popovich really had some strong advice for his team. And he was emphatic. He said, we are not going to win this game playing this way, fellas. You've got to step it up. Give me that. All you've right. You've got to get aggressive. And you've got to battle to get back in this thing. See if that pep talk got him going, guys. 
Brown with it. He's picked up by Parker. Brown kicks to Morris. Now here's Smart. Shot clock at six. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. All right. And he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. Parker kicks to Gasol. Outside, Green. Spurs passing it around. Good looking screen by Gasol. Morris against Aldridge. From deep, Green. Offensive rebound, ah. Spurs. The put back. Putting it back like he needs it. Woo. Aldridge with the anticipation to get Holy there. Holy smokes, and long man. Long arms to do something about it. Okay, time now for an injury report. Let's check in with David Aldridge for an injury update on Jason Tatum. David. It's not what anyone wanted to hear, as it sounds like it's a severe injury. We're well I don't know why we went left hand, but that is the last thing this team needed, and that's going to make things much harder for them down the road. I'm on fire. Thanks for checking in, DA. Injuries are always tough to deal with, but they're just a fact of life in the NBA. And he'll have a lot of support as he goes through the recovery process. They want him back as soon as possible. And we know how much better they'll be as a team. All right, still up by 14. And back in uniform. Here's the monster. They set the pick. Here's Smart. The rebound yeah. by the Spurs. Saul's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. Out I got 15. Right Come on. Gasol a screen on Brown. That one good for two. 14 points for Rudy Gay. And this is what you pay him to do. Gay's a volume. Okay, 448. Let's go. A big night. Now a timeout called by Boston. Even when you watch Rudy Gay out there on the court, you, you see just why he's always been a solid scorer. 12 points up, I mean, five minutes any left. Let's go. Any type of offense, he can find a way to get points, and really one of the more underrated players we have in our league. Nice. All right, let's go. Hayward comes in for Brown. Boston leading by 12. Irving kicks to Smart. Here's the monster. Addition out to Irving. The 10 footer. Boston, no good that time either. And with mm, Rudy okay. Gay, Come on now. has never been a problem for him. Has pretty much had the same level of production his entire career. Yeah, and if you say that about some players, it's considered an insult, but it's a good thing for Gay. Usually, will shoot in the mid 40s for this field goal percentage and, and solid at that small four position. Also, a great ISO game. Aldridge, good. He's Dead done his it. job tonight scoring the basketball, but they've still Let's been go, out guys. Come on. overall. The Celtics have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. And here's Hayward. Pass to Irving. Baseline J on the way. Rebounded by the Spurs. Aldridge has got six rebounds now in the game. No leave Gasol open. Green dishes to park. And there's the feed to Gay. Now the pass to Green. This all setting the pick for Green. He kicks to Parker. Good looking screen by Gasol. Off the pick. Count it, and the Celtic lead has been cut down now to just eight on the basket from Parker. A masterful job of running the pick and roll. And of course, Parker makes the right decision. Hayward outside. The offensive rebound. The monster passes to Hayward. Count the bucket. All right. A perfectly placed assist. Hayward's got 11 points here in just the second half. Parker kicks to Gasol. Outside, Green feeds it to Aldridge. Over Horford. Aldridge misses. Celtics leading by 10. 
Hayward dishes to Irving to the paint. The shots are right. the monster. The monster's got eight points here in this quarter. Just a pro good feed, good Kyrie feed, Kyrie. Irving. Unselfish basketball. San Antonio's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Parker passes to Gay. Gasol, a screen on Hayward. Here's Aldridge. Aldridge can't get that one to fall. And this is a guy that can get you stops. Aggressive on the defensive end. Also doing a good job of tracking the ball. Right. Contesting the mid-range jumper as well. And this enough. is his shot. You, you give him that much space, you're asking for trouble. And the problem is you're already way behind. Obviously, your closeouts are ineffective. You're in trouble. Aldridge double team. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. All right. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for the Spurs. 16 points, 17 rebounds, 3 assists. Let's go. Irving with the ball. Dishes to Smart. Passes it to the monster. Another shot. He lays it in. All right. Got my own rebound. Lead by 17. And we see it all the time, guys. You get the big lead, maybe check out mentally, but, but not tonight. They have this game in hand, but they're still pouring it on. Green with a screen for Parker. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for Boston. The coaching staff must be happy that they control their turnovers so well in this game. Excellent self-control. All right. Tonight. And for the year now, they'll be tallying their 16th win. Really, they had their number. 20 points on the game in the half. 20 points in this half. Win. Well, I think After one of the keys being that shut out the first the half. Time performance for the monster. Boy, such a big factor in the game tonight. His intensity on the board. Even when guys put a body on him, he somehow still beats them to the ball. Whether it's scoring, passing, or just acting as a decoy, his value to this team cannot be understated. To the left wing. Now, smart, pass to Horford. Here's the monster, Celtics passing it around. Just three to shoot. Irving for three, an absolute Ooh. bomb from three-point range. Such a compact release. All right, That's that why Kyrie it. is so efficient from range. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Green kicks to Aldridge. Aldridge a screen. Aldridge with a screen on Irving. Parker against Irving. It's Parker with the drive. Irving with the steal. And Hayward with a clear path to the hoop. And Hayward with the stuff. And how All much right. longer are they going to keep that foot on the accelerator? Well, this is less about winning the game now and more about... All right, an easy win. Finish with an so A-plus. easily grabbing this one. This one was over well before the final buzzer. All the right, 20 points, man, in the half. What a, what a turnaround. What a turnaround. Couldn't do anything in that first half, but... Uh, I don't know what happened to my sound. Just went down all of a sudden. <laughs> Lots of points here, man. Is that it? All right. Outstanding. Okay. Whew. That was worried at first. Uh, Hey, the fans are going up. Team chemistry at 60%. I need to get some Thank energy you, before the next now game. It's early, but you've established yourself as a contender that might make a deep playoff run. Is that on your mind? No, David, it's, it's, uh, it's something that's in the back of your mind, but this early in the season, our goal is to just improve as a team. And, and to get to a point where we can make some serious, you know, make a serious run in the title. 
Uh, if we start put, putting the cart before the horse, things fall apart in a hurry. So we're just taking it one game at a time. And uh, sorry to have to feed you that cliche, but you know. You owe me a nickel. Kevin? <laughs> Thank you, David. <laughs> Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg All right, Anthony, man. Steve Smith and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for what watching. A, what a so half. What a, what a completely different half from the, from the first one. Man. Fantastic. He's, he's pumped. He's pumped. Look at him. All right. <laughs> What's up, Sammy? What's up? Hey, you were money tonight, bro. Thanks, man. Ah, DJ money. Money. What? Just hold on to it, brother. DJ Money. <laughs> All right, we are going to call that an episode. If you liked the episode, leave a like. If you have not yet subscribed, I'd appreciate you would. And we'll catch you next time on a new place, NBA 2K18. Thanks. Bye.